Now, Fox 16 Sports. The Razorbacks are red hot. After going ice cold with two straight ugly losses, the Hogs are playing beautiful basketball, now winning two straight. Tomorrow night, they'll have the chance to make it three at the Bud versus Ole Miss. Last week, Arkansas and Ole Miss each nabbed back-to-back -back SEC wins for the first time this season. The Rebels aren't a real scary offensive team. They average only 70 points a game compared to Arkansas's conference-leading 85. But Eric Musselman knows their strength is on defense. In their latest outings, holding Mississippi State to just 46 and Texas A&M to 50. With a complement of playmakers, Ole Miss is a confident bunch heading into the hill. They're really well coached, uh, got experience backcourt. Romello White's got a ton of experience playing it in the Pac-12 at Arizona State. He's a physical player inside. Um, you know, Buffin's a really good player. I mean, I, you know, I, I like their team. I mean, they have really good pieces. They pride themselves on defense. Another heartbreaker for the women's team last night, falling to Georgia in the final moments. If you remember back to when they played Texas A&M, the Aggies drained a game-winning shot with less than a second left. So, so coming so close, but so far against a ranked team stings. Coach Neighbor says they'll have to flush it, especially with a big test looming. They host number three UConn on Thursday. You know, I think right now our confidence is going to be key. You know, how do we bounce back from another one possession at the buzzer, you know, under one second against the ranked team. Uh, you know, that that can take its toll on you, and, and it'll be important that our kids um, get a day of recovery tomorrow and then one day prep for, um, who, oh, yeah, UConn. Hey, Tuesday night means it's high school basketball night. Top-ranked teams, North Little Rock and Bryant, face off. Join us at 945 tonight for the highlights. More news after the break.